here we're given a non-homogeneous differential equation with initial conditions. We're asked to apply the Laplace transform and solve for big Y of S, which equals the Laplace transform of Y. So notice how we're not determining the particular solution Y of T, we're only asked to find the Laplace transform of Y, which equals big Y of S. So for the first step, we take the Laplace transform on both sides of the equation. So we'd have the Laplace transform of y double prime plus four y prime minus four y equals the Laplace transform of two sine five t. Now for the next step, we'll use properties of Laplace transforms to rewrite the left side as the Laplace transform of y double prime plus four times the Laplace transform of y prime minus four times the Laplace transform of y equals, on the right side, let's write this as two times the Laplace transform of sine five t. And now we'll determine each Laplace transform and then solve for big Y of s. To find the Laplace transform of y double prime and y prime, we'd apply the theorem stated here below which would give us the Laplace transform of y double prime equals s squared times big Y of s minus s times y of zero minus y prime of zero. And the Laplace transform of y prime equals s times big Y of s minus y of zero. So again, the Laplace transform of y double prime is equal to s squared times big Y of s minus s times y of zero minus y prime of zero then we have plus four times the Laplace transform of y prime, again, is s times big Y of s minus y of zero. Then we have minus four times the Laplace transform of y, which is big Y of s, equals two times the Laplace transform of sine five t. Using a table of Laplace transforms, we can find this formula here or notice for our Laplace transform, a is equal to five. So the Laplace transform of sine five t is equal to five divided by the quantity s squared plus a squared, which would be plus five squared or plus 25. For our next step, let's go ahead and clear the parentheses here by distributing and we'll also simplify this product. So we have s squared big Y of s minus s times y of zero minus y prime of zero plus four s big y of s minus four times y of zero minus four big y of s equals, let's write the right side as 10 divided by the quantity s squared plus 25. Now we'll use the initial conditions and substitute two for y of zero and one for y prime of zero. So we'll substitute two here and here, and we'll substitute one here. So this would give us s squared times big Y of s, and then we'd have minus s times two, that'd be minus two s, minus y prime of zero, which would be minus one, plus four s times big Y of s, and then we have minus four times y of zero, y of zero is two, so we have minus four times two or minus eight, minus four times big Y of s equals 10, divided by the quantity s squared plus 25. Let's go ahead and continue on the next slide. Now looking at the left side of the equation, notice how we have three terms that contain a factor of big Y of s, here, here, and here. So let's go ahead and factor out big Y of s from these three terms which would give us big Y of s times the quantity s squared plus four s minus four, and we're left with minus two s, and then negative one minus eight is negative nine, so we have minus nine equals 10 divided by the quantity s squared plus 25. Let's move these two terms to the right side of the equation by adding two s to both sides, as well as adding nine to both sides. So we'd have big Y of s times the quantity s squared plus four s minus four equals, we'd have 10 divided by the quantity s squared plus 25 plus two s plus nine. And then for our last step, 
We'll divide both sides by the quantity s squared plus 4s minus 4. So simplifying, we have big Y of s equals 10 divided by the quantity s squared plus 25 plus 2s plus 9, all divided by the quantity s squared plus 4s minus 4. Now we could change the form of this, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave it in this form. This is big Y of s, which again is the Laplace transform of Y. So going back to the first slide, Again, we're only asked to find big Y of S, which we just found. Once again, 10 divided by the quantity S squared plus 25 plus 2S plus 9, all divided by the quantity S squared plus 4S minus 4. I hope you found this helpful.